Hello students, good time to all. I am Chandan Kumar Pradhan. Welcome to your YouTube channel Chandan Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the application of O-Pump that is Substractor. Let's begin. A Substractor is a circuit that performs mathematical subtraction. So here, we discuss how we create a Substractor by using an op-amp. As usual, as we know, op-amp itself has two terminals. One is non-inverting, another one is inverting. Positive one, non-inverting, having potential V1, inverting, having potential V2, and output, you obtain VO. To create a substructure circuit by using that op-amp, what uh, are the processes we have to follow? Here, we provide the signal to that end. Let V of B to this end we provide a signal V of A another register which is grounded. Next the feedback circuit a register is used. to that of output. To create a substructor, all the registers are used in that of particular circuit have uh, equal resistances. Therefore, let the resistances are R. Now, mathematically, we can show what be the potential, what be the voltage to that of output of this particular circuit. Let here from that of signal A, the current I of A. At that end, G, the current is divided some portion towards this and some portion towards this. Let I amount of current let I one amount of current through this and I x amount of current through this. Now, applying KCL or that of node Z, applying KCL at a node G. The input current or that of node is equal to the output current, output current I1 plus Ix. In case of an ideal op-amp, the current through that of op-amp will be 0 as it provides infinite input impedance for an ideal op-amp Ix be 0. I A is equal to I 1 simply use Ohm's law here the resistance used for I A as R resistance used for that of I 1 again R 
the potential difference to flow that current i a potential v a to that potential of that terminal that is v 1 v a minus v 1 next to flow the current i 1 the potential from v 1 to ground so v 1 0 ground potential r r cancel out v a minus v 1 is equal to v 1 so v a is equal to v 1 plus v 1 this 2 v 1 so v a is equal to 2 v 1 therefore v 1 is equal to v a divided by 2 return equation number 1 v a in terms of v 1 in terms of v a next let at that uh, node let s be that uh, node the current here let i be now that current is divided this end and that end let that end current flow as i2 for this end current flow as i y again applying Kirchhoff's current law at node h i b is equal to i2 plus i y i2 plus i y same thing as for an ideal op amp i y will be 0 for an ideal op amp i y be 0 now that expression i b is equal to i 2 using ohms law here the resistance are here be the resistance are to flow the current i b that is from potential v b to v 2 v b to v 2 next to flow current i 2 that potential v 2 to v o v 2 to v o r r cancelled out v b minus v 2 is equal to v 2 minus v 0 our requirement is to calculate output voltage so output voltage uh, v o is equal to v 2 plus v 2 minus v b or v output is equal to 2 v 2 minus v b look here by using the concept of virtual ground the potential at this end is uh, equal to the potential at that end that is the concept of virtual shot from the concept of virtual ground and virtual shot the potential at any end is same to the other end of that particular op amp v1 is equal to v2 in place of v2 we can supplement the value of v1 therefore v output is equal to 2 in place of uh, v2 we have uh, v1 minus vb or uh, v output is equal to 2 into value of v1 as va divided by 2 
बी ए डिवाइडेड बाई टू माइनस भी बी दैट फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर वन फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर वन टू टू कैंसल आउट आउटपुट वोल्टेज भी ए माइनस भी बी इक्वेशन नंबर टू लुक यर टू दैट ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन आउटपुट वोल्टेज इज द डिफरेंस इन दैट ऑफ इनपुट सिग्नल्स इनपुट सिग्नल्स भी ए एंड भी बी सो आवर रिक्वायरमेंट टू क्रिएट ए सबस्ट्रक्टर सर्किट इज ऑप्टेंट हेन्स द आउटपुट वोल्टेज द आउटपुट वोल्टेज इज इक्वल टू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू इनपुट वोल्टेजेस द आउटपुट वोल्टेज इज इक्वल टू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू इनपुट वोल्टेजेस सो हियर विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी अंडरस्टैंड हाउ ए सबस्ट्रक्टर सर्किट इज क्रिएटेड बाय यूजिंग एन ओपाम एंड द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर आउटपुट वोल्टेज and that particular equation expressed the output voltage is equal to the difference between the two input voltages so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you